Hello everyone, welcome along to another video in our Essential Blues series. Today I thought we'd have a look at string bending. Uh, now I'm sure you know how to bend a string, but what I'll do is I'll go over some things you uh, can be aware of and I'll use shape one and shape two of the, the pentatonic scale. So first of all, when you're bending a note, obviously you're trying to bend a note from one note to a next note, uh, either a tone up or a semitone up. So in the A minor pentatonic scale, I'm bending this G note to an A note. Uh, so uh, if you're having a problem with bending initially, just play the note, see if you can get to it, all right? The other thing you can do is a high semitone bend. So I'm bending now this um, ninth fret, this uh, uh, G sharp to an A. So that's something you, you can do. So when you're within the scale, this A minor pentatonic scale, let's say, you want to know what notes you can bend to. All right. So let, let's take this, this, uh, this. Uh, let's start on the top. Uh, this, let's take this note here. Now this note is a C note. Now uh, we could bend this. To a D note, but the problem is over. Um, you know, if you're playing a blues in A and you're on the A7 chord and you bend to a D note, that's not going to work very well because there's no D in an A7 chord. So that that's not going to be a good one. All right. So you can do that, but uh, it might sound a bit out. Um, you uh, next note you could bend is this A note. Now you could bend an A to a C. Now that's quite difficult here. You can just about do it, but uh, A to a C, that's a possibility. That's a big bend. Um, here's another A note, though, in this position. So you could... So you could bend that, that A note to that C note. You kind of heard that in David Gilmore kind of stuff, haven't you? All right, so that's a, that's a bend you could do. Uh, what about this this note here? Well, we did this already. This is a G bending to an A. That'll be great. Right, an E. Where could we bend that to? Oh, well, that's another big bend, isn't it? Uh, you could bend an E to a G. So there we go, E to a G. Again, hard. Could you play that anywhere else? Well, in position two of the pentatonic scale, there's an E there going to a G, so... So you could do that. That, that, that one sounds quite good. In fact, they use that in Hotel California, don't they? That's the lick he does in that uh, solo. So uh, that one you can do. That, that one's quite, quite cool. An E will work. All right. Uh, what about a D? Uh, well, we can't really bend to a D, but because it's going to sound weird over an A7 chord, sound good going to a D chord though. Uh, so we could bend this D to an E note uh, here. So you hear that a lot, don't you? That one. Okay. So there we go. Uh, and then, of course, you're back to the you're back to the beginning again, the C to a D. So, just to 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 recap, you you could bend this one. Might sound a bit weird, but you've got to resolve it quickly to an A. You could finish on the A. The A you can bend to a C. A bit hard there, but if you move it up to position two, you could. You could definitely do that. Uh, what What's next? Uh, well, this one we've done, G to an A. Good. Uh, e to G. You could do that, uh, D to an E. Okay, now uh, what I do a lot is I do these rakes. Now rakes are where you, you mute all the strings with your right hand, apart from the last one you're playing. And you have that kind of thing. Sounds really good. Um, or without it. 
sometimes you, you want it, don't you? Uh, so sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Anyway, you can muck about with that. So that's a rake. Uh, now, the other thing which happens in a blues quite a lot is when you bend a note up, you bend, release the bend, and you bend it up slightly. Now, this is called a curl. So this isn't this note, and it isn't this note. It's somewhere in between. So... And you just got to kill it at the right moment because if you do it too too long, you're out. If you do it too little, it's, <laughs> it's too little. So um, that's called a curl, and you hear that a lot in the blues, don't you? So you're just you can bend each note slightly sharp, and it sounds quite good. That sounds really bluesy. If you want to make something bluesy, you can. So you can take each note and you can bend it, you know. I like these big bends with a little kind of curl after it, so you can have some fun with that. All right, so kind of they're, they're all of the um, kind of, I'd say, the, the tonal bends and these curls, they come up a lot in the blues, so, so try that. Uh, the other thing is the semitone bends. Uh, now, we've done, done these whole tone bends, but what you could think about is, within the scale, is there's, there's your C note, so perhaps you could bend a semitone into the C note. So this is kind of out of the minor pentatonic scale now, but into the major one, if you haven't seen the uh, video on that you can watch you can watch that so uh, here's how this would sound so I bent that up half step and back up to the C that sounds good um, could we do it on the A yeah let's see how that would sound starts to make things a bit more interesting doesn't it doing this instead of keeping Doing that, you know. That sounds quite good. You're starting to get a bit more creative now. Uh, all right, now, uh, so we can do that, definitely do that. What about G? Yeah, uh, that's good. Uh, we can bend to this G note, as long as you don't make a mistake there, like I just did. Uh, so that one's good. Pull off to that note. Now, that's an E note. Could we bend to that? Yeah, definitely do that. that. That sounds good. So if we put those together. You can do that. Yeah, sounding to sound quite good now, isn't it? Uh, so what about this note? This is a D note. This is the one to avoid over an A7 chord. You can sometimes bend that and then go straight back to that C note, bend into the C sharp, which will work over the A7 chord. So that might sound good. Um, okay, and then again, now we, we, we've run out of notes, really. We're back to the... Uh, to the A note again. So as you as you play and you're thinking of this pentatonic scale, see if you could see instead of doing that, I just played with it a bit. I bent into that A note there from a the semitone below instead of going. That would be more common. You could do that, but I, I kind of like. I like that kind of kind of thing. These semitone bends. Um, so obviously now, really, we've just been using that shape one of the pentatonic scale, haven't we? Um, so there's all these other shapes you can try. 
So, you know, if we went into shape two. See, now I, I use this blue scale. Little curl. Uh, so you could, let's see. Sometimes uh, Andy Timmons and these guys, what they do is uh, they slide into the note. Wrong finger. And then don't re pick it. And bend it up uh, like a minor third. That's the, the three frets, which will sound good. So have a little go with that. Just just have a, a muck about. You can spend so long coming up with things. You can just take um, two notes. I was speaking to someone the other day, and they they said try and think of a phrase in your head, and um, you know just milk it for all it's worth. And that's really good advice. So you know if you're taking that position one again. Think of a lick. Uh, so, yeah. So we instead of very straight. Sometimes you have to be quite quick with those bends. But anyway, in essence, that's bending. So we we have whole tone bends. We have little curls, big bends, and semitone bends. So there's some bending ideas you, you, you can do. Uh, obviously with bends it's very much your fingerprint on the guitar. You really want to develop these, Don't they've got to sound good. You know, uh, otherwise people won't want to listen to you. So uh, try and put some light and shade in there. So, uh, you know, try and put some light and shade in there uh, and, and do what you can to make it sound good. Okay. So there we go. I better go now because I think we've got a power cut as you just saw the lights flickering. So have some fun with that. See you in the next video.